every public leader, but anyone who's in that command role that would have a duty to respond or be responsible, and it's probably a better term being responsible for um, dealing with an incident um, and in, in the incident command structure should know what Iraq is. In the financial times we have now is things are tighter and we don't have as many resources as we used to, so regional planning is really important to bring everything together. The time to start planning for an emergency is not while you're in the middle of it. The time to know where your resources are and how to access them are well before anything happens. NARAC is a council that was established to uh, disseminate Homeland Security funding through 85 communities within the Northeast region of Massachusetts. NERAC is really the, what I like to call the oversight entity to help coordinate regional activities for preparedness and response to either natural or man-made disasters. The goal of NERAC is, is to be a focused uh, regional asset to try to organize uh, equipment, trainings, uh, provide funding for for inter-municipal uh, operations and training uh, programs so that we can be ready when a, when a tragedy strikes. It puts 10 disciplines in a room together and everyone's talking. Before that, I mean, you'd have cities and towns that the police chief wouldn't talk to, the fire chief wouldn't talk to, the superintendent of schools. Now, you go to these meetings and there's 10 disciplines, all talking, all looking at a common goal. We have established a resource guide that every community has been uh, given and that establishes the protocols for the communities to access the uh, equipment that we have cached around the state. If you don't have a resource guide, you can request one. Um, they're also available in electronic form. The towns and their administrators and their emergency management people, they need to take a look at the NARAC resource guide. We have a lot of resources that we can give to communities. We have anything from signboards to light towers to a portable emergency operations center uh, to radio towers. We have all kinds of resources that are not always tapped in the event of emergency. I think the issue is knowing what's there and having an understanding of what do I need and how do I access it. And it's not a complicated system. Um, typically speaking, it's knowing the right phone number, the right person to call when you need something. The, the equipment is located in areas such as Framingham and Beverly. We're looking for a third area. We have site administrators that can be contacted 24 hours. We also have a liaison with MEMA who comes to our NARAC meetings for Region 1. So our directors, can, emergency management directors, police chiefs, fire chiefs, they can reach out to those people and get the equipment right away. Some of the other things that uh, NARAC supplies is one of the most important is a web-based emergency operations center. And each of the 85 communities can tap into that it allows individual communities, if they have an individual event, it could be a parade, it could be you know, a pre-planned um, program where they can put their disciplines all on the computer together so not everyone has to sit in the same room, but they can enter in their events, keep track and be able to look at a big picture as a community, but also feed that into regional uh, or sub-regional events and then eventually into statewide events. Love WebELC. <laughs> Um, it's a great tool. Uh, the state has their version and NARAC has their, their version. WebEOC is really easy to use. If you can turn your computer on, you can use it. The disciplines that should use WebEOC are obviously fire and police, uh, the Department of Public Works, a health department in our community, the town manager signs into it uh, to be able to uh, watch the event and see what the financial impact of an event will be. Um, so it's a good tool for everybody to manage the event and have one centralized place that they can all communicate through. You know, it's a key asset, probably not being used as much as it should, um, but certainly it's gaining popularity with those communities that have, have discovered WebEOC. One of the new programs that we just put online is the NARAC Connect, which is an internet-based SharePoint program. On this program, we have all the different disciplines such as police, fire, uh, EMS, hospitals, where we are able to post questions on there, we're able to post documents on there, such as to say we wanted to find out information about a drill. We wanted to see how the drill in Tingsboro went. Well, we can post a dr drill summation on that uh, website. People can go in there and look at it, who are members, who are registered members, we can look at the results and say, you know what, this is something we can learn from when we do our drill. So it's something that is in real time, if we have an incident, we can log on there and see 
where the uh, different pieces of equipment are and, and obtain listings of resources and, and other equipment and programs that are available through the region. NERIC has uh, funded uh, NIMS training, the in National Incident uh, Management System, in which all groups of municipal employees, um, police, fire, public works, health department, all fit into the NIMS system of incident command. It's a requirement by the federal government to obtain funds. You have to be NIMS compliant. We have funded uh, $10,000 for each community in the NERAC region. If people have not tapped into that funding, there are still funds available through the training component. Uh, we also have monies for exercises, so if someone's going to exercise their plans, uh, they have uh, SEMP plans, which are community emergency management plans. If they want to run an exercise, they can request NARAC to pay for that training, whether it be the backfill and overtime um, or just the consultants that they have to have to run the exercise. They can apply to NARAC through the training component and see if we would fund that particular event. Most of these communities don't get involved with preparedness only because they can't afford it. Um, if they come and join into these things, they'll find out that they don't have to afford it because NARAC is funding these events. Certainly, there's training dollars available. There's the assistance of developing exercises um, with the communities. We have the School Threat and Risk Assessment program called STARS that we made available to all our communities. And GIS mapping, there's so many programs that are there, just probably not w known. You know, it's almost, you, know, you almost want to challenge these communities that don't have representatives on the council itself to send someone. It's critical that multi-agency responders work together and drill together and practice these exercises. If you wait till the last minute when something happens, you're not going to be as effective. You're going to forget things. And it's going to be a lot harder to deliver service to the community, and, and that's what matters. NERAC's done it right, because one, we did planning first, and then we really focus on the big picture. We focus on regionalized systems. We're not trying to say, I want more of this and, and I want more of that. It's what's best for the region. And that's, I think, what New York's greatest you know, strength has been, focusing on the whole and not the small little parts. I think it's important for all the communities to jump on board. Um, you can't be isolated. Most events go across town boundaries. Uh, you, you can't have all the resources to adequately do a major uh, event in your own community, you have to tap into regional resources and you should partake of the resources that are available through NERAC.